Slate. Hey, Speed. Okay, so if you say your name and affiliation, it'd be great. Aaron McKenna with the Los Alamos Monitor. Nice to see you again. Good to see you again. So I'm going to start with you. And last year, the actors were to telling me that they went to a lot of effort to make sure the science was really accurate mm -hmm. on this. Can you tell me some of the things you've done to, to get that accuracy? Yeah. So as far as I know, we haven't made any science mistakes. The, uh, the, the, the stories are different stories than what happened in the, in the true Manhattan Project. Right. But the stage is the, the same stage. So it's our universe with our laws of physics. So anything that they do, any problem they try to solve, has to obey the laws of physics. And there's many things with just little nitpicky things that you never saw because they got fixed. Other cases, um, I think one of the bigger ones I remember is having a lot of discussions about the point for point what would happen when, when they were trying to understand the reactor poisoning at Oak Ridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, these were based on real stories and real problems they had. And also one slight foreshadowing of, shadowing of what happened at Chernobyl. I don't remember that one. I'll have to you have to listen it. carefully for <laughs> okay. that one. Okay. And now, you were telling me that uh, some of the things that people think were not there in the Manhattan Project are actually things that you've researched, and there's at least some element of truth. Can you give me an example or some of that? Well, it's tough without, without spoilers. Right. Uh, without spoilers. Uh, but... Everything they do is, a, is maybe a little, ra it's ratcheted up, but it's based on something real. So one of my favorite examples, uh, and this, this is spoiler free. So they have, as, as in season one and season two, there's a very aggressive security apparatus. Right. And it does things like uh, they want to maybe detain scientists who are not acting uh, correctly and things like that. And so some people might see that and say, I don't think that sounds real. Why would they lock up their own scientists? And there was actually an effort. General Groves actually saw, wrote out an internment order for Leo Zillard to intern him indefinitely for the end of the war, suspending habeas corpus and all of that stuff, if he left Chicago to go try to advocate for not using the bomb. And he didn't sign it, but he wrote it out. And this is the kind of thing where you say, oh, General Groves, he would have known. Oh, no, for Leo Zillar, General Groves would have done that. And it's one of these things that's not extremely well known. And so a lot of what I traffic in, and the reason why they want me to do this kind of thing, is I traffic in the stories that haven't been told as much or the angles that get kind of lost in the bigger picture. And I like to find those and say, you know, this actually happened. This isn't fake. Mm -hmm. So you can take that out and they magnify it and they play with it and they've assigned it to different people, but they're not changing, they're not adding a new element wholesale. And sometimes I think when people see the show and say, well, that didn't happen. Well, well, maybe they just read the Richard Rhodes book. Well, that doesn't have, I mean, Richard Rhodes book is great. Don't get me wrong. I love right, Richard right. Rhodes. <laughs> but there's been, so, that was written in 1986. Uh, there's been a huge amount of material declassified, some within the last year. And we integrate, the kind of consulting I do for the show integrates the most cutting edge of material. So uh, we try to get, I try to get them the weirdest stories that actually happened so that they can pull them into this world where they really like to, uh, we say, accentuate the weird. And I really think that that's part of the job of seeing history, not through rose-colored glasses, is to realize that some of this was a lot stranger and darker and, and, and weirder than we normally like to talk about it. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs>